What is the deal, beautiful people? It's your boy Uncle Rizzo. Enjoying some crew, the crew. I owe you be soft an apology, man. A lot of you hit me up in the inbox and yo, how the hell are you playing that? Where'd you get it from? They had a chance to sign up for the beta a while back, so I finally got my beta key. And I'm in the beta, baby. And I'm actually enjoying this a lot, man. Me and Snow, I had to, I had to call him after I played it for a while because I was like, I couldn't believe what, what this thing was and how dope it is. And it's crazy because, you know, we got the drive club coming that uh, is, is going to be the make it or break it purchase for my, uh, my PlayStation 4. Or if I purchase a PlayStation 4 in, in any time soon, because that's really what I want to get at. Aside from that, The Last of Us. We got we got a uh, Forza Horizon 2 coming. So this game was was really like a meh. I didn't really do much research on it. I didn't care to, uh, especially after that Watch Dogs debacle that Ubisoft was doing. I really didn't care about any Ubisoft games after that. So I got the beta and I'm playing it. And I must say, man, this game is impressive from A to Z. This game is impressive. I I am totally shocked right now you see me driving through manhattan <laughs> i'm not even in manhattan yet i'm sorry i'm i'm still in jersey that's the that's the george w bush the, the george w uh <laughs> the george washington bridge right there we call it the gw so i, I was like totally shocked right now i'm about to get on the west side highway <laughs> i've been pressed by how they it's not photorealistic, but it's good enough that if you know you're from that town, you kind of know where you at. But uh, there's there's a lot to talk about when you when you talk about this game, and this is only my impression, so I'm not gonna go ham on it. But uh, from the obvious things of the graphics, it looks it looks good. I'm pretty sure they'll dial it up. And keep in mind that this is this is running on my my rig, so this is a, a GTX 780 Ti. Uh, it's a beast of a card. I got it all, everything on Ultra, so what you see is, is pretty much as good as it's going to get without Ridiculous, but I like it. Um, the impressive thing here is there's a consistency in the drawing and, and the, the frame rate, the speed. It's always consistent. It, it does its job, man. You never feel like you're going to run out of somewhere to go or you're limited. I really like how they did it. So much so that I'm curious to see what Forza Horizon 2 looks like now. Because these guys completely nailed it. Uh, this is dope shit right here. Uh, the, the cars are nicely detailed. Uh, I don't have much beef there. They, they could stand to really improve the graphics on the cars a little. But then that becomes a... A thing where like what are you gonna are you gonna increase the model for the traffic to traffic as well so uh, it looks good man like you just see I hop through some grass the car got dirty uh, the damage is dope it, it is it's not as crazy as you would expect in something like a, a grid or a drift but the damage is there it's, it's a good looking game it's a handsome game the sound is amazing so if you take watchdogs or even think like uh Grand Theft Auto with that open world, uh, that open world sound. The, you know, the environment is always full of white noise and people talking on the street and people talking in cars as you whisk by. Like it's the same deal here. It's really impressive, but more so the the sound that you get from these cars are insane. Like this is grid insane. Like it's a dope sound i'm on the fdr now i couldn't get enough of that right there <laughs> while i'm playing this i'm screaming the whole night like oh shit the fdr but um yeah it, it really encourages you to, to get creative and aggressive with the throttle just to hear your car respond man uh it, it's it's dope they they got the, the upgrading portions of it where you know, as you do races, that guy really just cut me off. As you do races, you unlock better parts. You can put them on. Uh, they have like this demo mode where you put the parts on right there. And it strips it down to the, the beer engine and chassis. And you get to see the parts moving. The cranks, the shafts moving. And if you put a, if you put an exhaust on, it sounds slightly different than the other. It's, it's dope shit, man. Physics-wise... It's still an arcade racer. Uh, it doesn't feel anything like the Cars and Watchdogs. I know a few people already asked.
asking. Like, no, nah, it, it feels fine. Uh, I think it's dope. This puts, I don't know, not in the new Need for Speeds. It, it doesn't feel as refined as that, the, the arcade experience you get from something like that. But um, I don't know. It, it feels akin to some of the early Need for Speeds, like the undergrounds which is more than enough and then too you know you the more you unlock the more you play the better handle your cars get uh, there's a few missions in there where like i got to drive the aston martin nuts nuts can't wait to get a hold of that car in the game it's, it's just really good shit there the storyline is, is uh it's you know i'm not gonna ruin it for you it's it's just a basic storyline but it's enough of it where it'll it'll drive you through the entire the entire campaign you know what i mean like you'll You'll want to go from city to city to, to do these missions. So I thought they did a good job of setting that up. Uh, I, I The co-op I haven't dove in too much. Uh, I did. Be, like when you go to a mission, you have the option to actually do it in the co-op. I, I didn't create a crew right now because not too many people I know have the beta. But uh, I think it's, it's dope that the co-op is, is built right in. Uh, I really had fun. It was me and three other guys. We were chasing down this one girl, and she was giving us hell. So I almost want to say that the difficulty skills when you go to co-op, man, you know, it's not too easy. But that's dope. Uh, I I enjoy this game, man. Right before I hit I hit New York, I was I drove down from Detroit. Shout out to Jerry. I made that drive from Detroit to New York. It was maybe like a good I don't know eight minutes maybe, and I wasn't hammering it. You know, I was cruising nice. So that type of freedom is definitely cool, and I can tell you, nice drift there. I can tell you that New York is definitely different, a whole different uh, environment than um, where I was in Detroit. You could also tell like the traffic increased tenfold. Uh, there's a lot of thought went into this, and some good execution. It's only the beta, so I, I really expect Ubisoft to dial this in, man. This game. Like I, I told Snow the other day, like this game really reminds me of Need for Speed Underground in terms of the the amount of options, customizing the look of your car. Uh, then they've got the the parts to upgrade the car. Man, this this one's gonna be a big hit. Uh, I can see me I can see me playing this for a little while, not in a competitive mode, but you know just fucking around. Um, Sometimes you just don't want to compete, man. It's good to play a co-op game with your boys as opposed to getting online and concentrating like you're getting paid for this shit. <laughs> Sometimes I want to play a game and not critique a game, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's my impressions for this shit. Uh, I think the beta signups are still open, so head over to the crew site. If I find a link, I'll put it in the description for you guys. Uh, you should definitely check this out, man. I... I I had, I had fun on this so far. Very impressive with this. Um, I can't really put a finger on what feels next gen about it. I guess it's the, the feet of the open world and, and just just raw open world with this level of detail. But and, and it not be a, you know like a hop out the car, shoot people, hop back in. That's that's dope. So I would I would essentially call this like a, a Grand Theft Auto, but for car dudes, man. You guys gotta own this. You gotta own this. Anyway, leave the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe, man. If this is the first time you're running across the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Have a seat. We got plenty more coming up. It's your boy, Uncle Rizza. I'm out of here. Peace.